see Higgs. And on this investigation, we go to Warsaw, North Carolina to the Country Squire Restaurant and Winery. I would like to thank Miss Iris and Miss Lillian, who were wonderful hosts to us. We went on two different occasions for this investigation. Had a great time. It's a great place to eat and a great place to visit. And we also did some really interesting ghost hunting. Had a wonderful time. So let's see what we found on this investigation and let's go ghost hunting. entrance to the country squire. This is where you come in. What are you doing? I'm getting drunk. What are you doing? <laughs> This is my partner in crime right here. <laughs> Wine tasting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm behaving. <laughs> what are trying you doing? To break, trying to break the lens, aren't you? Uh-huh. People have them, but they don't so do we have a name on the text? I don't know. There's nobody up there. So what are we doing, everybody? We're getting ready. Hello. We're doing our favorite Welcome thing. To the country spot. <coughs> and we're, we're eating. in the hot spot of the whole property. Right. Here. Two favorite things is ghost hunting and eating. And drinking wine and eating. And drinking eating. wine and eating. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when it opened up in 1961, it was just a wee log cabin that could seat 76 people. By the late 60s, early 70s, it had been added on and added on. This area here is over 200 years old. So lots of the original floorboards and original windows in this room. And over the years, like I've been here 34 years, and I've got employees that have been with me for 20 years, 16, 25, and we've always had our stories to tell about the squire's ghost. Um, she was up there decorating, and somebody touched her on the shoulder, and she's standing talking, and she's talking. She's, well, James, what do you think? She turned around. James was in the other end of the building. This hallway was built to join the old house to the rest of the squire. There's no table legs. They're suspended by the chain and attached to the wall. Oh, wow. <laughs> Diane that's working tonight recalls one incident she was in here. And all the chains, all the chains started shaking. And not just one. They all started doing it. So okay. she came out real quick. <laughs> this area is a regular dining area. And although we, um, you see it all in one room, we do have a partition that you can see. So one half is called the meat hall and another half is called the courtyard. Okay. So I was in here totally by myself. And I have been in here, you know, many times, like this one at 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, you know, all day. But when I went to set the alarm over in the foyer where you come in, you know, in the fireplace, over in that corner, <laughs> as I was sitting there, I almost put my finger up there to set it. This voice came up and it was a lady's voice. He went, <laughs> I said, Bitch, if you go going to meet me, come on. Right. Right. Straight back there. Yeah, to get something out of the freezer. Sure. And I had my back. I was looking in the freezer. Something pushed you? Pushed me hard. Wow. I wish we would have heard that claim. I said, Brittany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I looked and she was way up front. Wow. Yeah, yeah, just tell us. Yeah. Um, I just know one night we had some people in the tavern and I don't know what happened. I don't know if we made her mad or what, but she took the darts and started throwing them at the dart board real fast. So the darts are just flying by themselves? Flying, yeah, flying. That is cool. Flying, yeah. I guess we made him mad, I don't know. <laughs> or somebody made him mad. Hmm? Did they fly out of the dark board or into the dark No, into the dark <laughs> But it's weird because I've worked like in the meeting in the court before and had to turn off all the lights. Uh -huh. And I've been in there like by myself in the dark and I just get a little creepy because I'm like, I just feel like something's behind me or something. But, and I just run real fast back into the kitchen. But, okay. Uh, kind of weird feeling. This We're in the we setup room. 
This room that we went through here that's like kind of sunken down, that's mm -hmm. a cool room too. With our equipment and our uh, all our stuff piled in here. I guess you know, don't walk your talk. Seeing any, anybody that walks by the camera, you have a sense that we'll just turn that one camera on right. temporarily. Right. So if we're, if we're not in here, right. it's something to walk by it. Towards the back here. We do. Do you want to keep it dark? You want to have the camera shooting out that way? We don't mind. The IR camera is going to only do um, so many feet. Yeah, like 30 feet. Yeah, 40 feet, something like that. Maybe you should put it right there, shooting well, into I the could. dark. I could. Or do it from the dark, shooting to that light right there. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, some baseline readings. So far, nothing. It's my camera. Oh, we're getting a reading. Now, why is that? I you think there was a reading here. You before. were getting a reading over here before? Yes. I think so. Right yeah. there. Yeah, look at that. Now, is it lower? Nope. It's up oh, above. Wow, well, nothing up above. HVAC <laughs> about right there. Right in the middle. So, <laughs> flash. This is upstairs above the winery where they make some of the wines. Yeah, they pretty much leave Is there the anybody here with us? Okay, I'm going to go turn my other camera on. Okay. You can come touch one of these devices or get really close to it and it will light up or make a noise and let us know that you are here. Okay, now, are you getting peaks right here? Is this yes, right? yes, I did. Can I see you? Yes. Don Yawning. Is anybody here with us this evening? If you can see this gray light on this little device, come close to it and it'll light up. Can you try it for us? I can't see your eyes, all I see is big white. Well, it worked in 13 Ghost. That's right. I figured I'd give it a try. Mm -hmm. Can you light that up for me? If you go ahead and touch it, you can light it up and we know that you're here. Go ahead, you're doing it. Get real close to it. So somebody is here. Touch it as much as you can. Make it light up. We'll leave. Yeah, do you want us to leave? We know you can make it do that. Can you move it from side to side, Beth? Like, see if it changes by moving it? You mean over here like this? Yeah. Ah, it stopped. Put it back to where it was. Just that one little spot. That's interesting. And it's, it was sitting there for 10 minutes before Doing it Doing absolutely nothing. Correct, and it just started doing that. And if it had been electrical, it would have done it to begin with. You know? Yeah. I would think. Would have picked up immediately. Mm -hmm. I wish you could touch this little machine here. Make a noise for us.
front. Okay. This is the door for the Okay, well, we'll just, we're going to lock the red door. This one here, you just turn that to lock it. Okay. Just turn that to lock it. Okay. Just turn that to lock it. Okay. This is the infamous Hannah Thistle. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Shook. I can hear you in this recorder later. This is three. This is the This we all have sorrow but if we are wise we know that there is always tomorrow